Hello, denizens of the internet. I've already done a video on the, the mystery of the dead space witch beings. Where myself and you, my wonderful denizens, postulated as to who killed the space witch beings, canceling their Broadway debut of their hit musical, The Power of One, The Power of Two, The Power of Manny. Perhaps first we should sort out um, who the Manny was they were referring to. I'm certain it wasn't Manny Wasinto, the Canadian actor who plays Keimer, who also was in that wonderful uh, sitcom, the very funny sitcom, The Good Place. Perhaps they might be referring to Manny Machado, third baseman for the uh, San Diego Padres, but I'm pretty sure the Witchbeans planted Brendock did not have an MLB franchise. The other thing we speculated was who might Zippermouth be? May's Sith Master, who showed up in episode four and took out a gang of Jedi with a wave of their hand. So far, based on all the comments I've, uh, I've listened to on multiple channels, the top two candidates for Zippermouth are Keimer and Mother Kirill, the spiky-headed life partner of Mother Anasea. Of course, it could be anyone we've seen so far, or a complete stranger out of the blue. I would rule out a complete stranger because that would be a real cheat. And I also think we can rule out the chunky Jedi. Some have speculated that it's Greenhead, Vernestra, played by Rebecca Henderson, who also happens to be Leslie Headland's traveling companion, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I have my own guaranteed to blow your mind theory, but I'll save that for later. Do not zip to the end because YouTube takes away engagement marks if you do. Anyway, many things point to Keimer, He's already on the planet with May. He heard May talk about uh, the fact that she doesn't want to continue her murderous quest anymore. He disappeared to get water for her. Did he have enough time to scoot over to the Wookiee's cottage and kill him and get back in time? We need to check his cell phone records. Then there was the distraction of May stringing Keimer up in the tree with a sling trap. Oh, Zippermouth can't be Keimer because Keimer is strung up in a tree with blood rushing to his head. We all know that Luke got out of the Wampa's ice cave in a similar situation when his feet were frozen to the ceiling. Plus, we saw that Zipper Mouth can float. Why would May's Sith Master be on the planet if May was on the mission? Didn't he trust her? Did they sense the, her cold feet secretly coming to the planet and laying in hiding just in case? But so what if May had bailed? Zippermouth could have come back and done it themselves later. I think the silly juvenile writers of this show probably thought they had put up enough mental obstructions to fool us, to dissuade us from assuming Zippermouth was Keimer. But I got to thinking, if I was Leslie Headland plotting out this entertainment abyss, what would be a solution that would cause everyone's jaw to drop in the writer's room. What would a terrible writer think of that they thought was fucking brilliant? If you think of it in those terms, there's only one solution. You borrow from the mysteries from the film noir era. That means the first person killed was never killed and is the bad guy. But in this case, it would be a bad girl. Indara, yes, Trinity from the Matrix, faked her death and decided to work through May to kill her three Jedi companions. Why? I have no freaking clue. I'll leave that uh, for you guys to make something up in the comments. But uh, that is the kind of Agatha Christie air suck out of the room kind of revelation you want in a mystery. Of course, there should have been logical clues that the audience could put together ex post facto. I have no idea what ex post facto means, but it sounded cool. Shut up. If you compare the confrontation between May and Indara and this 
picture here between Osha and Zippermouth, the relative height difference is similar. Chimera is much taller than Osha. And if anyone out there is on drugs, May and Osha are both played by the same lesbians. I would also suggest to you from this picture that Zippermouth is not that imposing. The sadly departed Ray Stevenson's six foot three frame, which appeared in Ahsoka, would have towered over Amanda Stenberg's five foot three in heels. Margarita Levieva as Mother Coril is five foot six, so that is a logical possibility, though the helmet does not seem to accommodate the horns particularly well. Carrie Ann Moss at 5'9", plus her hand gesture, matches up pretty well to that of Zippermouth's petite hand. There you go, denizens. My bet is Zippermouth is Indara. Since the show is no fun, I've decided to have fun with the show for as long as my sanity sustains me. Your hypothesis is the sissy sis is welcome. Till next time. Be seeing you. Hypothesis. Hypothesis.